Welcome back to school, back to school reactions, and we're at it again. Check it out, you guys. I got Chris Stapleton, Nothing Else Matters from the Metallica Blacklist that's upcoming. This thing is going to be crazy. I think it's like seven albums, man. There's a few songs that a bunch of different artists are covering. Um, that should be fun if you're a Metallica fan. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, um, I am. So this is Chris Stapleton, Nothing Else Matters. Um, my friends have been telling me I gotta check this out right now and I'm like alright I haven't done any in a few days sorry guys I've been running behind but my kids started school up again and I had to get used to that and uh, now he's in school and I'm here if you're new to the channel subscribe hit that bell notification button select all so you know when I'm dropping videos I mean that's the whole point right so you can see my reactions anyway you guys I hope that everybody's having a great day today we're gonna jump right into this with Chris Stapleton, Nothing Else Matters. It's different. It is completely different than the original song. I mean, it's the same song, but it's completely different feel. Completely different. Oh, man, I'm going to like this a lot. All right, let's go. It almost makes me want to go back and listen to the original just to see how different it is. But I know that song inside and out. Um, anybody that, that was around when Metallica was first dropping albums, I mean, we were buying them all. We were like, are you kidding? Uh, they were so different when they came out. Um, this is incredibly different, though, than the original song, which is so, so bizarre because I couldn't see how it could be transformed that much, but it is. So let's keep going. And nothing else matters. There's something about Chris Stapleton's voice, too. Boy, look at that coming down. Look at that storm coming through, coming down. Boy, oh boy. Right. 
okay. Dude, that growl in his voice, a little growl right there. When he does that, that little... Like, one of the reasons why Chris Stapleton is, is so famous is, like, everybody that went and saw, ten, you know, heard Tennessee Whiskey for the first time couldn't believe it. But I've listened to several other songs of his. Several. I've reacted to a lot of them. But I've listened to several other songs of his, and he just has this this natural sort of raspiness in his voice when he does that and it's it, it sounds so like vintage if that makes sense almost has like that outlaw country kind of feel to it. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but when I say that outlaw country, like um, Blue Saraceno, the Bible and the gun. Newer outlaw. Not newer, but you know, with the last 10 years or something. Something like that. It kind of gives me that sort of a feel. Uh, even though it's a Metallica song, it just gives me that outlaw country vibe, which I'm really digging. transform this song a lot. I 
actually you should do it by that speed. Y'all weren't kidding on that. Air raid sirens. Wow, y'all weren't kidding. JP, Wolf, Grumpy. Y'all weren't kidding, man. Yeah, he, he transformed that. That was dope. I love that. I hope you guys did too. Um, I'm going to get this thing up. If you if you uh, have some more uh, suggestions, please get them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you really like it. Let me know what you uh, thought of this compared to the original. Uh, and if there is anything else you want me to check out, put it in there too. As always, you guys, be healthy, be happy, be good to each other, and stay blessed, all right? We'll see you real soon. Peace, everyone.